opportunity for Brian O'Connor's Hoos to point themselves back into the College World Series Finals and also rematch up earlier this week as the Cavaliers lock horns with the Florida Gators live from TD Ameritrade Park here in Omaha, Nebraska. Hi again, everybody. Channing Poole with you at the ballpark on a gorgeous afternoon for baseball here in Omaha. Currently sitting at 80 degrees under perfectly sunny skies at the park as the Hoos and Gators tangle for already the second time in this year's College World Series. And it is a matchup of two teams that, well, they battled to a 1-0 decision back on Monday. Right-hander is ready to go to work. Left-hand hitting Adam Hazley digs into the first pitch grounded left side of the infield. Over to play on the backhand is the shortstop Martin. A long off-balance throw is well laid. And Adam Hazley has himself his first hit of this College World Series. And that gets this game started in fine fashion. Here's the kick, Paneros does square, bunts it right back towards the mound, deadens it in between the catcher and the pitcher's mound. Picked up by Rivera, charging out from behind the plate, tosses on to Alonzo at first. And the pitch to Thice, swung on, hit back up the middle. That is through for a base hit, they wave Hazley around third, up with it in center field is Bobby Reed. His throw towards the plate, it is online, but not in time. Matt Thice strikes early for the Hoos, it is 1-0 Virginia. An RBI single back through the box to drive home Adam Hazley and the Hoos in front here in the top half of the first. Nathan Kirby, the unanimous preseason first team All-American. And now here we are nine weeks later to the day and Nate makes the start in the College World Series. Here's in the catcher Matt Thice, the kick and the pitch low for ball one. That got him picked off between first and second. Throw from Pavin Smith to Danny Panero. Covering it, shortstop is in time for the out. Kirby kicked the leg. Martin goes first move, and he is caught trying to steal second. In an infield single here. Scorches one to third on one hop. It's backhanded by Tobias on a dive. He throws to first. And what a play from Josh Tobias. Have a hit against Virginia earlier this week as the pitch is cut on and missed. And Nathan Kirby has his first strikeout of the game and his first strikeout in nine weeks. The pitch swung on, hit off the end of the bat right side, and that will get the run home. Clement's only play is at first base as he throws out Bader, but we are tied at one in the bottom half of the third inning. Pitch swung on, line towards right field, long run for McCarthy, he's not gonna get there. The Gators will take a two to one lead as Martin is in standing up at second. Joe picks it off the outfield wall and right, and Florida leads by a two to one score. Pitch line towards left side of the infield, a base hit. And that's going to score Martin from second base. So the fourth hit of the inning as Josh Tobias lines a single between short and third. And that's going to do it for Nate. So Coach O'Connor trying to get him through the third. And again, with a pitch count limit of around 60 today, he will finish at 53 pitches. Good to see Nate throwing strikes. And still a possibility we would see him again See what Shore goes with. Set from the right-hander and the pitch. McCarthy, a wave and a miss. First strikeout of the day for Logan Shore, who's not a big strikeout guy. But it comes at a big time. Right-handed hitter, the lefty Rosenberger, deals. Swung on, lifted towards right field. McCarthy charging over towards the line. He's not going to get there. Has to play it on a hop. Run comes home from third as Larson scores and make it a five-run inning for the Gators. It's now 9-1 to one Florida. The pitch. Swung on and line towards right center field. That ball well hit, ranging back is Reed. That's over his head and a roll towards the wall. Picked up on the warning track. That's going to score a couple. Townsend standing up at second with a two out, two RBI double. Town swings, lifts it towards center field, and that should do it. Buddy Reed is there. He'll make a two handed catch. And bracket one will be decided tomorrow as Florida defeats the Hoos 10 to 5.